Godhead. I'm Carissa. I'm Mackenzie. And these are your morning announcements. There is a mandatory five minute meeting during research on Wednesday for the students going to the Mexico trip. Please meet in Senior Lawrence's room at 2.45. Attention youth to youth members, there is a large group meeting in Mrs. Kiker's room this Friday. All members must attend and please wear your white away shirt as we will be taking our official group photo. Are you interested in free pizza and a math party after school on Thursday, December 7th? See Mr. Zitlow for more details. Uh, the junior's class prom theme is voted on and the winning theme is Paris of the Night. It is time for the forensic season to begin. Our first meetings will take place on Thursday, November 30th. One meeting will take place at 7.30 a.m. in Mr. Zitlow's room, and another meeting will take place at 3.10 in Mr. Wichita's room. You need to only attend one of these meetings and may talk to Mr. Zillow or Ms. Wichita if you, are unable, if you are unable to attend but are still interested in participating in forensics. Have a good day! And today for your weather, it's a high of 54, it's currently 50, and a low of 27. Diagnosed for a low of neuroblastoma. Uh, and she has a tumor and had a tumor in her stomach. At that point, obviously, the process began with Harlow and her family. And um, they're proud to say that as of last week, Harlow, a week or two ago, had just finished up her fourth round of chemotherapy. She will be going here soon for her fifth round. Um, and and she, this is something that she will be. She has thoughts fiercely. Our life's journey is about the people that touch us. He also said, you beat cancer by how you live, why you live, and in the manner in which you live. Well, there is no better example of those powerful statements than in Marlo Phillips. She is beautiful, vibrant, and she has touched more people than she will ever comprehend. Listening to Harlow and her family's story, suddenly makes that pile of laundry that you've been waiting for a little less important. It makes a tough loss in a sporting event not as upsetting as it could be. And those silly little disagreements you might have with a friend or a, or a loved one, it's not worth the time to have those disagreements. We can all learn a lot from this little four-year-old. Love life, love the journey, and stop worrying about all the small stuff. And last but not least, never take anything for granted. What's your favorite genre of music? Hip hop. What's your favorite genre of music? Probably Americana. Anything with a banjo. What's your favorite genre of music? Uh, I think for me, it'd be rock and roll. My favorite band's Kiss. What's your favorite genre of music? Country. Right now, it'd be YMCA. YMCA. <laughs> What's your favorite genre of music? My favorite genre of music is probably Christmas carols. Your lunch is Salisbury steak, apples and peaches, corn and mashed potatoes with gravy, and your choice of milk. 